If you look from above at a pencil that's partially submerged in water, you see that the part that's underwater looks kind of bent or misshapen. Remember that you see any object because light waves are coming off that object and reaching your eye. But those light waves behave differently in different materials. They travel faster or slower depending on the material. Light travels faster through air than it does through water or plastic. So when light travelling through air reaches a plastic block, for example, it slows down. To understand why the pen looks weird through water, let's forget about light for a second and picture a car travelling along a road surface, then reaching a patch of sand. Just like the light wave, the car slows down as it reaches a different material. But now, imagine the car reaches the sand at an angle. As the first wheel reaches the sand, it slows down. But for a short period of time, the other wheels continue at a faster speed. Because the wheel on one side is going slower, the whole car turns slightly. Once the whole car is on the sand, it continues in a straight line, but not the same straight line that it was travelling on along the road. Light rays work in the same way. If light rays are moving through air and reach a different material at an angle, they'll change direction slightly. This is a ray box that we often use for light experiments. And this cover lets us beam a narrow ray of light from the bulb. If I aim the beam at the plastic block at an angle and turn the other lights in the room off, you can see the light beam is bent as it enters the plastic and again as it exits. This happens just like the car reaching the sand. The speed of the light ray decreases as it reaches the plastic block, but then speeds up again as it exits the block. This bending of light is known as refraction. We can say that the light is refracted. Let's consider some of the details of what we're observing. First, you need to understand the word normal. Normal is a word that comes from Latin meaning at a right angle. The normal is an imaginary line at a right angle to a surface. Looking at the ray box setup, here you can see the normal drawn at a right angle to the surface of the plastic block. And when we talk about angles of reflection and refraction, we describe them relative to this line. Here the ray, known as the incident ray, reaches the plastic block at 45 degrees from the normal. This is the angle of incidence. The ray within the block, known as the refracted ray, moves through the plastic block at 30 degrees from the normal. This is called the angle of refraction. Because the light then exits the plastic block and returns to air, it speeds up. The emergent ray exits the plastic block at the same angle as the incident ray. In a case like this, the incident ray and the emergent ray will always be parallel to each other. So how does refraction affect how we see the pencil in water? Well, light reflected off the pencil moves away from the pencil through water and it's refracted as it travels between water and air. It speeds up when exiting the water, bending away from the normal before reaching your eyes. Your brain assumes that light travels in straight lines, so it looks like the pencil has been bent to reach the point where you think the light beam has come from. It's because of refraction that we're able to focus on things using lenses. As a light ray reaches this lens, the ray is refracted toward the normal. Then, when leaving the lens, it is refracted away from the normal. Because of the shape of the lens, all of the emergent rays are refracted towards each other, focusing at a single point called the focal point. This is called a convex lens, sometimes known as a converging lens, because the light rays converge as a result of going through the lens. It's this type of lens that we have in our eyes that allow us to focus light from objects onto our retina, so we can see a clear image.